Today's topic is phrase. A phrase is a group of words that work together, work together, as a unit, within a sentence. sentence <clears throat> a phrase is a group of words that work together as a unit within a sentence unlike a sentence a phrase does not have both a subject and a verb okay does not have both a subject and a verb Subject groups, subjects, and a verb. Okay? It does not have both a subject and a verb. It can have one or the other, but not both. So it can have a subject, but, or it can have a verb, but can have both subject and verb. Okay? So it doesn't express a complete thought, okay? Unlike a sentence, a phrase doesn't have both a subject and a verb, so it doesn't express a complete thought. Phrase can act as different parts of speech, like nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. So they can function as um, a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. So instead of using a noun, you can use a phrase. In this case, it would be called a noun phrase. Okay, so pretty simple. A phrase, once again, a phrase is a group of words, so you can put words together, that work together as a unit within a sentence. Okay, it does not have both a subject and a verb. So the key part is both. Okay, so let's take a look at some common types of phrases. Our first look at is a noun phrase. So let's take a look at noun phrase. Let's put this A. Noun phrase. So pretty obvious, a noun phrase will act as a noun in a sentence. Act like like a noun. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Okay, so our noun phrase, our phrase, okay, our noun phrase in this case is the big brown dog. The big brown dog. Okay, that's the phrase or noun phrase. Notice it has a noun, but no verb. Okay, remember a noun phrase or a phrase does not have both a subject and a verb. In this case, it has a subject, but it doesn't have a verb. So the noun phrase is the big brown dog. And to complete the sentence, the phrase, the big brown dog barked okay, loudly. Period. Okay. Once again, we have our noun phrase. Okay. In other words, the big brown dog. And then we add in the rest of the sentence or the predicate. 
Bart loudly. Okay? Bart loudly. So that's our noun phrase. Now, if we take a look at our next one, which is, let's take a look at another type of phrase. Let's take a look at part B. So a noun phrase acts like a noun. It's pretty simple, not much to explain. Uh, let's act when the phrase function as a verb. So it's a verb phrase. A verb phrase. Okay. And this will include the main verb. And any helping verbs plus any helping verbs. Okay. So let's take a look at example of a phrase. Okay. And any helping example for a phrase. Remember, a phrase uh, doesn't have both a subject and a verb. So it can have a subject or it can have a verb, but it can have both. Okay. So, example, is running, is running, this is a verb phrase. Notice we have our main verb is running, running, and our helping verb is, is, okay, is running. A form of the main verb is running. So, to use this phrase, once again, notice here, it has a verb, but it doesn't have a subject and it's just a bunch of words together okay now it's a noun a phrase is a group of words that work together as a unit okay so now if we were to put it together okay our subject he is running Quickly, quickly. Quickly. He is running quickly. Okay, verb phrase. So notice the phrase, in this case, the verbal phrase, a verb phrase, is running. Okay, sentence, he is running quickly. Another part is, let's say a function. So we got a function, a phrase, function as a noun, function as a verb phrase, and then what about an adjective, okay? Let's take a look at adjectives. So adjective phrase. Okay. The adjective phrase, it will describe a noun. Okay, describes a noun. So it's a group of words that's going to function like an adjective and describes. A noun. Okay, describes a noun. Let's take a look at an example of our adjective phrase. Um, let's see. Okay, so for example, with the yellow door. With the yellow door. Notice here, okay, it has a subject, but it doesn't have the verb, any verb. So this is the phrase. And this phrase is going to function like an adjective. It's going to describe our noun with the yellow door. Okay. So let's write this sentence. The house the house with the yellow door
is mine. Okay, this is a complete second and it's a complete lock. The house with the yellow door is mine. Notice what the yellow door describes house. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, let's take a better picture of this before we move on. Okay, next, so we got our phrase function as a noun, a verb, and an adjective. What about an adverb? So this would be point D, and this would be called adverb phrase. Adverb phrase. It would be called an adverb phrase. So it describes a verb. An adverb basically describes a verb. An adjective. Or another adverb. Sorry if my chicken scratch is, is chicken scratchy. Okay, an adverb phrase functions like an adverb. It would describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Example, in a loud voice, okay, in a loud voice, this is our adverb phrase, and it's going to describe how we speak. So, example, let's put in a sentence, she spoke. in a loud voice okay she spoke in a loud voice it uh in a loud voice describes speak okay how did she speak she spoke in a loud voice okay and our last use of our phrase common use of phrase is a prepositional phrase prep Positional phrase. Okay. And it begins, obviously, a prepositional full phrase would begin with a preposition. If you don't know what preposition is, we'll go through that in a different section under preposition. Begins with a preposition. And it usually function as an adjective or an adverb. So this might overlap with our adjective or adverb phrase. Begins with a preposition and function as an adjective or an adverb. Function as adjective or an adverb. A prepositional phrase will act like an adjective or an adverb. So sometimes there's no distinction between a um, adjective phrase, an adverb phrase, or a prepositional phrase. Okay, sometimes, depending on use. So for example, pretty easy. On the table. And our complete sentence on the table is our prepositional phrase. The preposition is on. Okay, the book on the table is new. Okay, so on the table, the book on the table is new. It describes the book. 
So the book on the table is new, so in this case it functions as an adjective. Okay, so phrases, this concludes our phrase. Phrases add details and clarity to sentences, but they don't stand alone as complete thoughts. Okay, so it adds detail, but it's not by itself. Okay, and uh, can't complete a sentence. Okay, once again, recap. Phrase is a group of words that work together as a unit within a sentence. Okay. It does not have both a subject and a verb. It can have one or the other, but one is missing. Okay. And phrase can act as a noun phrase. There's basically five types. Noun phrase, verb phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, and prepositional phrase. This will conclude our introduction to phrases. Uh, we will go into more in-depth details and with more examples in a later video on each subject. Okay, uh, thank you and uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.